Hi guys, this is Mike Kanaga and we are back with another video. So the plan is pretty simple. We are going to strip the old paint. Gonna give it a refresh. Gonna do new stain on the front and we're actually gonna cut off the base and try and go for a bit of a modern look. And we're gonna see how it turns out. So this is the dresser we actually got from Lauren. If you've seen the first video, uh, she bought she bought the dresser from us, and she gave us this one on top. So that's the one we're gonna be working with today. So the plan is basically to cut off the base alone, probably somewhere around here. I mean, uh, probably definitely somewhere around here, in line with the one that's gonna stay. It's actually going to be fairly simple, not much stuff going on here. And then we're going to do our own bases, but for that we're going to have to head to Home Depot and grab some stuff. So I'm gonna start and build the base. I'm gonna use 2x4 and a piece of trim. I believe it's pine. Uh, I got all my measurements and I'm gonna get to it. Now that I have two front and two back legs uh, all measured up and cut, I can start cutting the uh, side and front panels to, just to make sure the, uh, the size is exactly right. I drew up the angles so I'm gonna get them cut and we can start building the base. Actually sanding first then building. Now that I have all the pieces cut and sanded, uh, I'm basically going to join them together. I'm going to be using pocket hole screws and wood glue and more or less it's going to be looking like this at the front and a similar idea on the sides. We've done it before, it looks really nice stained, especially when the stain matches. So yeah, let me get to drilling.
Okay, the base is now officially ready. I over torqued one of the screws and it split slightly, but this one holds really well. There's glue inside and it's all gonna be glued to the dresser base as well. Oh, actually it's probably just screwed. But it's sturdy, it holds. Simple and effective. I went ahead and drilled the uh, drilled a couple of more holes going this way. This is just so I can fix everything to the base that I'm gonna have to build later. Okay, we're gonna give it one more sanding with 20 to 20 grit paper and then it's gonna get stained. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe, please! <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you like how it turned out. Because I really wanted to use the green paint for the longest time and I finally had a chance. Let me know if you like. We got this dresser as a trade-in from Lauren. Thanks again. Thank you. If you want to see the dresser she bought from us, you can check the video in the top right corner. I'm gonna leave a link. Materials for this one were about $25 and we are planning on posting this online for about $240. We will update the description below when it sells, so keep an eye out. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye! Bye.